In International Coastal Viewing, Portugal. Distance of 22.9 kilometers, 14.2 miles. Day, Thursday. Time, 1600 hours, 30 minutes. Date, 28th of November, 2019. Location, Southern Portugal. This viewing was done by Clive. Who is Clive? Clive was a member of the peer-to-peer -peer observation team. Clive, AKA Green Laser. That's Clive's telescope and mounted green laser with a few personal lens and housing modifications. Clive's telescope mounted green laser that helped demonstrate that the sea between Worthing to Brighton was observably not curved. Whilst sipping a sangria under the shade of a canopy in Albufera, Clive decided to take a few coastal shots, as you do if you are a keen Earth observer, even when you are on holiday. Where was Clive sat sipping and snapping his sangria with his Canon PowerShot SX50HS? Clive was sat under the canopy area. Please note the view from under the canopies. Clive's first picture. Google Earth view. Photographs and composites taken along the coast. Further photographs of along the coast. Further along the coast. This photograph shows a specific landmark, a cylindrical tower, landmark with buildings to the left of it, a cylindrical tower, this is a composite of two overlaid photographs, brightness and contrast enhanced. Can this cylindrical looking tower be found on Google Earth? It's the tower at Praia de Faro, 19 meters above mean sea level, according to Google Earth. A picture of the tower at Praia de Faro on Google Images. Best Google Earth match with a photographic image. How far along the coast is the tower at Praia de Faro? The distance from Albufera to the tower is 22.9 kilometers or 14.2 miles. Using Google Earth, the buildings around the tower will be identified and their heights above tide level determined. This is a composite of two overlaid photographs. There are buildings along the coast to the left of the Praia de Faro tower that are lower in height. Measurements are from Google Earth and their height above mean sea level. The lowest building being 10 meters and the tallest building being 17 meters. Tide data for Thursday, 28th of November, 2019. This chart shows that the tidal height at Albufera about one hour before the observation was at 3.4 meters. The tidal height for Faro was 3.3 meters, about 45 minutes before the observation. 
Data analysis. Albufera tide level above mean lower low water 3.3 meters. Albufera mean sea level 2.1 meters. Albufera tide level 3.3 meters minus 2.10 meters equals 1.2 meters above mean sea level. Camera under the canopy was 9.5 meters above mean sea level. Camera handheld 1.5 meter above the ground. Camera height 1.5 meters plus 9.5 meters minus 1.2 meters equals 9.8 meters. Prudent camera height 9.8 meters above the tide level. Faro tide level 3.3 meters. Faro mean sea level 2 meters. Faro tide level 3.3 meters minus 2 meters equals 1.3 meters above mean sea level. 1.3 meters must be subtracted from the Google Earth mean sea level readings for the buildings to obtain height above tide level. The height above tide level between Albufera and Faro is 10 centimeters. The height above tide level of the buildings to the left of Praia de Faro Tower after 1.3 meters has been subtracted from their Google Earth above mean sea level heights. The lowest building now being 8.7 meters and the tallest being 15.7 meters. Summary. The Praia de Faro Tower was observed from Albufera at a distance of 22.9 kilometers, 14.2 miles. The camera at Albufera was 9.8 meters above tide level. Buildings near the Praia de Faro Tower were also observed. What does the curve calculator say in terms of what should have been visible? The Earth Curve Calculator indicates a hidden height of 10.8 meters above tide level. According to the globe or similar sized oblate spheroid ellipsoid model, at a distance of 22.9 kilometers, 14.2 miles, the hidden height is 10.8 meters. A standard refraction modified value of 7 sixths the assumed radius of the Earth will not be used for the following reasons. One, the assumed radius of the assumed globe Earth has not been proved using the scientific method. There is no repeatable and reproducible empirical evidence to support the assumed radius value. It is to date an unproven assumption. 2. Surveyors may use a correction of 7 6 of the assumed radius of Earth for the refraction of light over ground, which is a vague generalization, making it non-applicable and particularly non-applicable to these observations over water. Also, as you know, different surfaces can cause different refraction effects. Example, a tarmac road on a warm day causes the refraction of light in an upward direction. What about bare soil, grassland, shrub, forest, urban environments? What about the time of day and season, humidity, and weather? If anyone makes a bold statement, just apply the acid test of honesty and ask them for their personal empirical evidence. You will soon discern who the liars are. 3. When it comes to refraction of light over water, the experienced people are those that are actually doing regular observations during the day and night. Email them for their thoughts and empirical evidence. The Earth Curve Calculator indicates a hidden height of 10.8 meters above tide level. If the photographs presented in this video were taken on the globe that we are told we live on, then the buildings below the yellow dashed line would not be visible. Note, no inferior or superior mirage is visible indicating that refraction was not occurring to any observable extent. The yellow dashed line has been rotated to line up as best as possible with the horizon since the picture was taken at a slight angle. Parts of the building blocking line of sight to the Praia de Faro tower in the photograph should not be visible as they are below the calculated 10.8 meters hidden height. Conclusions Buildings are observed in the photographs that should not be visible according to the globe model we have been presented with. 
These photographs show that the expected curvature is not present. Don't just believe what is presented here. Do your own observations. My sincere thanks to Karen B. for her technical support in the production and dedicated to Level Earth Observer. Please check out the YouTube channel.